arch curves are two closely spaced horizontal curves that have deflection angles in the opposite direction. So in this 3D model of two curves, this would be a reverse curve system. Now when we're looking at spiral curves, and this is really one of the difficulties with lining up reverse curves, is that what we call the curve actually starts at adverse crown remove. So if I pull out the part that's actually on the curve, so the curve in a spiral curve actually starts at adverse crown remove, so that means the inside edge of pavement is at a 2% slope, the outside edge of pavement is flat. This is where we would actually begin the curve of the road. And the same thing if our other curve is also a spiral curve, meaning as a spiral transition, the actual curve is going to start at adverse crown remove. Again, outside edge of pavement is going to be flat, and the inside edge of pavement is going to be at our 2% slope. So the real difficulty or the challenge comes is if we think about just placing the curves themselves back to back, we're going to have an issue with the cross slope. It's not going to, it's not going to line up. So if you're a vehicle and you're driving along the curve, we'd go from one point having 2% cross slope in the inside lane to it being flat for the other curve. So this is not going to line up. So those two pieces that we need to connect are naturally not going to connect. The cross slopes are not going to work there. So when we're dealing with reverse curves in a spiral transition curve system, we've got to make sure that we provide the transition for vehicles to go back to normal ground. And so what I've done is I've added the extra portion of the roadway here to make sure that we're going to make the transition all the way out of our super elevation back to normal ground so that our two curves can line up so that a vehicle could now traverse this curve system in either direction and have super elevation that makes that appropriate transition through the curve.